Welcome to Arian Swift Celtic Park for the All Ireland Club semi final between Lavi, the Derry champions, and Thomas Davis from Dublin. And the first free in the game given by referee Seamus Pryor. Difficult conditions here today at Celtic Park. The wind swirling, certainly favouring Lavi in this first half, but as well as swirling downfield, swirling across as well. And it's a great kick from McCormick this time to open the scoring for Lavi, the Derry champion, with one point. Thomas Davis of Dublin, no score. So a CS free taker for Thomas Davis, Liam Adamson lines himself up, take this kick, left footed shot, high and swirling to the left, still in play there, ball's knocked across the goal there, dangerous ball there for Lavi, picked up by Johnny Benton, Benton strikes with the left foot and puts it over the bar to equalise with Thomas Davis one point, Lavi the Derry champions one point. Line ball to Lavi. Kieran McGurk with the ball, plays a short ball across where Damien O'Boyle picks it up. O'Boyle throws the hand once. Has a look, plays it in towards the corner where Colin McGurk goes for it. Scratchy McGurk's on him. Does it in through to James Shiver. James Shiver is through now to Donald Holland. Can the Holland win the chase? But goalkeeper Troy has come out. Well, Holland's going for it again. Picked up there by Shiver. Down in the ball to the back of the net. A tremendous goal for Lamy after 10 minutes of play. Downing has took the ball to the back of the net there after a mistake by goalkeeper Troy. Excellent chasing work there by Donald Holland created a chance in the first place. First time Colin McGurk has got the ball in this half and has created a good opportunity right away for Lavi. Good build-up work there by James Shivers and Donald Holland and it's Downey who notches the goal. Kick out by Fran Troy into the middle of the field and that's just what this game needed. Picked up now by Kern. Kern stretches upfield. Plays the ball in towards the right corner. Coming across is Damien Doherty and Vincent Carney. Carney wins his chase and Doherty has fouled him and Thomas Davis has been awarded a free in. So it's a tall full forward. Liam Adelson takes his kick and puts it over the bar to reduce the leeway to just one point. Thomas Davis three points. Lavi 1-1. One, one. Brenton Reagan with the kick out. Picked up there by Fergal Rafferty in the middle of the field. Rafferty trying to speed the play up, moving initially indicating to Rafferty to move forward but then changing his mind. Rafferty plays a long ball in towards the right corner. Seamus Downey goes for it with Johnny Miller. The referee gives a, a free to Downey, 20 metres out from goal on, on the right side of the field. Here we go. So once more it's the centre half forward for Lavi, Brian McCormick, preparing himself to take this crucial free kick. Corning strikes it with a left foot, as straight as a die, this time it's over the bar. Lavi, one goal and two points. Thomas Davis, three points. Two points to Brian McCormick, the young 18-year-old free kicker for Lavi. Curran works his way back, has to get around Colin McGurk. Curran is still with it there, and gives it away very badly. So our ball, paid into Colin McGurk. Great ball through there to Seamus Downey. Downey steadies himself, sticks it over the bar for Lavi's third point. And Downey's second score in this game. Lavi, one goal and three points. Thomas Davis of Dublin, three points. <laughs> Jim Martin still has it. Still got it, trying to get his clearance in. Good clearance this time. Picked up there by Paul Nugent. Nugent's got a bit of space in front of him, and he's got Adamson out to the left. Adamson has it. Takes a shot, and it's gone to the right of the goals, and just gone wide. And Certainly a dangerous situation there for Lavi. At half time in the other All Ireland Club semi final, Salt Hill of Galway lead Dr. Crooks of Kerry by 1 6 to 0 3 at the half time score. So, referee Shimmers Pryor from Leighton throws the ball in to start the second half of this All Ireland Club semi final. And immediately Thomas Davis break away. And Paul Nugent with the ball fouled about 40 yards out from goal. And it's, Go ahead. and it's Vincent Carney settles himself to take this free kick just at the beginning of the second half. Kick from Carney has gone to the right and has gone wide. So it's goalkeeper Brendan Reagan from Lavi to take the kick out. 
Ball drops out into the center. Caught there by Patrick Vaughan. Vaughan steps inside Damien Boyd. Takes a kick and it's a beautiful score. All the way from about 35 yards out on the right. Vaughan has increased the Dublin tally to four points. Lavi still ahead by two points. One goal and three. Best. Lavi goalkeeper Regan once more with the kick from the 20 meter line. Out to the right of the, par the park. And it's knocked down there by Fergal Rafferty as far as Hugh Hart and McGurk. McGurk goes up, plays it back to Henry Downey. Downey steps inside, plays a short ball out to Kieran McGurk. McGurk making ground on this side here, plays into the corner towards Seamus Downey. Downey eludes Martin, is inside his man. Takes a shot and it's a terrific point. Great score there from Seamus Downey. Two minutes gone in the second half. Marvellous score. Third score for Downey. He's accounted for one goal and two points with the lobby total to this stage. Goalkeeper Fran Troy from Davis. Long kick with the breeze in his back this half. Picked up there by Lavi midfielder. Gear McGurk with the kick plays it into the left corner. Picked up there by Hugh Martin McGurk. Good short pass there to Donald Holland. Holland works his way in through to Seamus Downey. Downey steadies himself but is going to the right high ball. Picked up there by Colin McGurk. McGurk steps inside and plays it back to Brian McCormick. And McCormick taps it over the bar. Beautiful work score there. And another score for the young 18 year old playing a centre half forward here today for Lavi. So that's Lavi stretching their lead to four points now. Lavi one goal and five points. Thomas Davis, the, the Talat Club, four points. Kick out from once more with the, the kick out. Short one this time. Coming out towards the Shivers. Shivers. Hold on to that pair, but it's now Paul Nugent with it. And Nugent takes a good shot and has gone once more over the bar to reduce the leeway now to two points. This game going from end to end. Just two points between the teams. And but 10 minutes gone in the second half. Reagan once more as the game really begins to warm up now. Kieran McGurk and Paul Fern going for a diamond. Two Fatty and Clipper. Fatty and playing short ball out to Sean Greeley. Screens placed into the corner towards Liam Adamson. Adamson and Scullion go for it and a good tackle there by Scullion. Scullion picks it up, plays short ball out to, to Ryan Scullion his brother. Picked up now by Kieran McGurk. McGurk plays short ball to Brian McCormick. McCormick goes it now. Tries to move in his face. Plays ball out to the right side towards Colin McGurk. Colin McGurk with it now. Let's see what he's going to do this time. Toes the hand once. Plays the ball in towards the corner where Seamus Downey's going for it with JJ Martin. Downey got there first but was able to get the ball up now. It was picked up now. 45 metre free. And it's... Dublin man Dave Ford with a long high ball and it's gone all the way over the bar so there's now just one point between the teams. Ravi one goal and five, Thomas Davis seven points and with 13 minutes as the second half gone. So kick out to the middle of the field once more. Thomas Davis are really starting to get to grips with this game. Quick ball played through by Duan. Another winning arms, Anthony Scullion. Scullion drops it, but Duan recovered by Darren uh, Doherty, but it's given away. And the ball is now over the bar by Sean Greeley for the equaliser. Thomas Davis, eight points. The Lavies won five. And, a and Stephen in this All Ireland Club semi final. Ball out to the centre for Hugh Martin McGurk picks it up now. McGurk tries to work his way through, and the referee awards a free. 50 metres out from goal. Quick one from McGurk. Out again once more to his brother, Colin. Colin McGurk steps inside his man and across the face of the goals, drops it but uh, regathers it again and it's James Shivers with it now. Shivers plays a great ball in there from Shivers and if there ever was a penalty that certainly won. There's no question about it, the referee is awarded a penalty for Lavi. Halfway through this second half, can this be the saving grace for Lavi at this stage of the game? And it's McGurk himself who's going to take this penalty. He's had mixed fortunes with these shots over the past number of years. Scored an excellent penalty in the Ulster final against Kingsport Cavan, but in the All Ireland quarter final against your Conan Gales, unfortunately, failed to raise the rigging on that occasion. And he works steady himself, focuses the whole 
focus on attention and Selvig Park. There's not a little white dot there in the 13 meter line as McGurk goes up. He takes his shot, plays it low and it's gone into the net. Well, oh, fortuitous would be at the end up, but nevertheless, the ball's in the back of the net and Lavia stretched into a three point lead once more. That's certainly the Phillips they needed at this stage of the second half, playing against this strong breeze. With 17 minutes gone, Lavia gave. Or is tall, full forward. Liam Adamson about to take this kick. Kicks it, goes off the, the upright. Picked up there by Fergal Rafferty. Fortune smile there for Lavi for a moment. Played in again by David Gilmorton. Ball punched up and over the bar there for a point for Thomas Davis, reducing the leeway to two points. Now Thomas Davis, nine points. Lavi, two goals and five points, 11 points. So are we in for a real nail biting finish to this game? Kick out by Reagan. Picked up there by. Johnny Benton and Benton strikes it thinly over the bar to reduce the gap now to one point. Thomas Davis, ten points. Lavi, two goals and five, eleven points. Going down now to have a word with him. McCormick kicks left for it. Good ball in towards it. With a Carl Ennegram, picked up there by Don Mulholl, Mulholl with it now. Has a look around him, plays it back to Henry Downey, and Lavi centre back. Certainly got a bit further up the field this half. Played back now to Brian McCormick, McCormick with space. Good dig there by McCormick, and a huge point there, a brilliant score from McCormick here. The three, two minutes left in the game now, and Lavi has stretched their lead to two points. Can they hang on for a magnificent victory here at Celtic Park Derry? A very historic occasion, the first time that the Dublin club team have been in the city of Derry. The first time that Lavi has played as a club in, in Derry, but the referee now has awarded a free about 60 metres out from the Lavi goals. Thomas Davis trailing and into the free comes that. And who will just follow the play for a moment. Well blocked down there by Reagan. Good stop from him. Reagan plays short ball out to Anthony Scullion. Scullion out here on the right side of the field been harassed there by Liam Adamson. Adamson seems to be holding him now. And into the fray comes that useful figure of Anthony McGurk. The young man who came on in the game against your Connell and the scored a very, very crucial goal at the very, very, six, very, very end of the game, the 62nd minute. McGurk now in the flower of his youth. Enters the fray. Ball out with Gary Gilmartin on the far side of the field. Long ball in, dropping in towards the Lavi Square. And it's in the hands of Paul Kearney. Played across the goals, and that was certainly a near shave for Lavi. Ball's coming right the whole way across. It's gone out over the sideline on the right hand side of the. So can Lavi hang on? The time is ticking away. Just seconds left on the clock. Lavi with a two point lead. Two goals and six points. A total of 12. Thomas Davis, 10 points. Brian Scullion with the kick. And the referee blows the final whistle, and Lavi are through to the All Ireland Club final in St Patrick's Day in Fruit Park, Dublin. And what a great day in the history of the Lavi Club. A tremendous victory over the Dublin and Leinster champions, Thomas Davis.